and today we are going to go and see the three famous islands of Venice Murano, Burano and Tarsalo and later in the evening we are going to go for a 30 minutes grandola ride really looking forward for my uh, sightseeing tour to these places Venice is made up of over 100 small islands but generally the Venice Islands refers to the three most famous outlying islands in the Venetian lagoon Murano Burano and Torcello. The only way to visit Venice's island is by boat. These islands are not close by and takes about 20 minutes to go from one island to another. The 50 to 60 minutes on each island is just the right amount of time to take in everything and enjoy the beautiful city of water. Murano lies about 1.5 km north of Venice and measures about 1.5 km across with a population of just over 5,000. It is famous for its glass making and the island's expert glass blowers still handcraft stunning pieces of Murano glass even today. We visited the glass factory on Murano and saw the local Murano glass makers blowing glass and making new products with traditional techniques, which provides a fascinating behind the scenes look at this historic industry. Hey guys, so we have reached the island of Burano and this place, oh my god, this place is just amazing, so beautiful, let me just show you around. Farther north of Venice, the island of Burano was the highlight, just beautiful. If color is your thing, Burano is a perfect place to visit. Known for its exquisite lace, beauty is all around in Burano. Vibrantly colored houses line the sides of the canals, each one different to the next. Painted by the fishermen and their families who live there, the rainbow aesthetic of the land is extraordinarily photogenic.
we have reached our third island for the day, Torcello. There's a famous church here and uh, that is where we are going now. Torcello, first settled in 452, is believed to be the first populated island in the Venetian lagoon. With only a few inhabitants still living on the island, Torcello is a lot quieter than other parts of Venice. Torcello's Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta features the oldest remaining mosaics in the Venice area, dating back to the 11th century. As the island has more greenery than other areas of Venice and not much commercial activity, this is a chance to see some nature on your city break. Over the decades, a number of famous artists, musicians and Hollywood stars have spent their time on the quiet island of Torcello. Yes. Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> so guys, we are now going for the gondola ride. So the ride looks like this. If it's your first time to the city, a gondola ride is one of those can't miss things to do in Venice. Nothing beats the enchantment of a gondola ride through the historic canals of Venice. They are the symbol of history, tradition and romance in the city on the lagoon and a gondola ride in Venice ranks among one of the most dreamed about experiences for travellers. Gondolas allow you to see Venice from a completely different perspective and better appreciate how the city functions with canals instead of streets. Our ride lasted for about 40 minutes. We had a lot of fun. 
Gondola Valley. Now we're going back here and we're going to chill and relax for some time.